An Indian Air Force official has said that the economic situation makes it difficult to push for procurement of 114 foreign fighter jets under the MMRCA program, but the Air Force is still hopeful that the procurement will be allowed since the original plan was to manufacture these fighter jets under the Make in India initiative. The deal for 83 Tejas Mark 1A will be signed in the coming weeks. But it will not be a supplement to the 114 MMRCA fighters, since both are from different weight category and were planned for different roles in the Indian Air Force. The medium weight fighter might become the first choice if the MMRCA is cancelled, but the Air Force is currently looking forward to the MMRCA to procure 114 fighter jets. The Indian Finance Minister had announced a series of initiatives to promote indigenous defence production, which included making separate budgetary outlay to procure Indian-made military hardware, and increasing the FDI limit from existing 49% to 74%, and generating a year-wise negative list of defence systems and their spares that will be banned for import. She also added that the government will also work to improve accountability and efficiency of the Ordnance Factory Board by corporatization, which was instantly opposed by the three Defence Employees Union. As per latest reports, the Indian government has placed artillery platforms in a negative list of items that have been banned from imports, which comes as a huge boost for the Indian private defense industry, but it will impact Israel's Elbit systems which had won a $1 billion tender to deliver 400 Athos towed howitzers to the Indian Army, and top experts have said that the Indian Army might prefer the indigenous ATAGS-based truck-mounted system to reduce the production cost, and to avoid induction of new type of foreign-made artillery systems. Goa Shipyard Limited has emerged as the front-runner to build two pollution control vessels for the Indian Coast Guard for approximately 600 crores, and the contract will be signed in the next two months. The chairman and managing director of Goa Shipyard has also informed that the shipyard will receive the drawings for the two stealth frigates from a Russian shipyard by the end of May 2020, and the plates have already been ordered, and the production will start in August 2020 while the first two frigates are being built at a Russian shipyard. According to latest media reports, the Indian Army is set to outsource repair and maintenance of its fleet of T-72 and T-90 tanks to private companies. The Ministry of Defence has invited bids from private vendors for undertaking operations of the Army Base Workshop, and has also barred the public sector undertakings and ordnance factories from bidding. India's Chief of Defence Staff has said that the Indian Navy will provide crucial intelligence to the upcoming Joint Theatre Commands at the northern and western borders from 2021. The Indian Navy's P-8I long-range maritime aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles could also be deployed for surveillance on land borders, and the Navy's MiG-29K fighter jets could also be integrated with the western theatre commands, which are currently limited to operate at sea. Oh, my God.